Hello, and welcome to the V-Learning version of 11G350 Advanced Dashboard App Development. Your first exercise, combined with similar analysis, is used to create more advanced logic and have greater insight into your data. The first example we'll walk through shows how to combine similar data at different levels within a dimension to compare child-level roles to parent-level roles. This recording for exercise one is in three sections. Content covered in the first section, create a union query, which will allow you to easily combine data from different sets, which are not normally together. Your instructor is Deanna Lind. Go ahead and get started. In the next exercise, we're going to be working with being able to combine analyses together. So this is the first exercise of the advanced class, the 11G350. So we'll be using a technique where we're able to combine, and there are three different ways to do this, and we'll be co covering all three. The first one we're going to do is a union. So in this example, we're combining information from area with information from a region. So what this analysis is showing you is the areas and how they're doing in comparison to the region as a whole. So we actually set up an analysis to show area information. Then we set up an analysis to show the region information. And then we combine them together. So to get started from the global header, I'll say new analysis and sample sales. All right, so I'll set up the first analysis. Everything's pretty normal so far, just like we were always setting up our analyses. So I'm going to go ahead. Here's my subject area over here. I need TO3 per name quarter. And out of the Cust Regions folder, I want C51 area. And then I want to go to Facts, Calculations, Time Series, and I want that 1, 2, 3 column. So we use this in the 301 course. Um, so this column will generate your revenue percentage difference based on whatever time element is in your analysis. So because we have quarter, this will tell us what our quarter ago revenue percentage is. All right, so I have all the columns that I need. I do need some filters. I need to create a filter on TO3 per name quarter. So I can just click on Properties, choose the filter icon. Then I'll go ahead and choose 2008Q2. All right, there it is. And I also want to just look at the areas in the EMEA region. So I don't have region as a column, so the way that I add that filter is I click on the Create Filter icon, and then I choose More Columns. And then I can open up Customers, Cust Regions and choose a region column. And I'm going to click the drop down and choose EMEA. So what we're doing here is we want to look at all of the areas within the EMEA region and then by doing that union we'll be able to see how they're doing in comparison to the region as a whole. So the way that we do a, com a combine, there's an icon in the upper right corner of the selected column section. It's a green plus sign. And when you hover over it, it says combine results based on union, intersection, and difference operations. So I want to click this. And then I click sample sales. That's a subject area that I want to use. So now what we have, I'll move this filters pane down a little bit. We have the first analysis that we just set up. And when we do the combine, it gives us a second analysis but leaves it blank. And at the bottom here, you can see what the original columns were. So what we'll do, we'll take a shortcut, we'll actually copy the first one, and that'll be a big time saver. So the way that we do this is we click the small icon to the right of that first analysis, and we say copy, and then we can click again and choose paste. We end up with two identical analyses, and then we have the third one below. That's the blank one that was created for us when we did the combine, and we can actually just get rid of this. So we can click the little icon here and say cut. That removes it entirely. So now we have two identical analyses. And notice when I did that cut, it actually hid that filters pane. So I'm going to use this icon. This is show hide filters so that I can see what the filters are. So the first analysis is showing me the same thing that the second one is. So now what I need to do is customize the second analysis because this analysis is going to bring in region information. All I have to do here is change the formula of this column. So I just click on the properties and choose Edit Formula. 
and I can erase where it says area and then I just go to customers cust regions and choose C50 region and then I'll click the OK I don't need to change the filters here because I still want to just be looking at that region column from EMEA so now what I'll do is format what the output is going to look like so the way that this works we have our first analysis and then we have our second analysis so when you want to format the output what you do is click on result columns so the two analyses feed into the result columns and that's what I'm going to modify now so first thing I want to do open up TO3 per name quarter and I'm just going to go to the column properties and I'll go to the column format tab and in the far right corner you'll see this hide checkbox and that is how you can hide a column and then I'll click the OK we still see it from the criteria tab but we won't see it once we open up the compound layout and now what I want to do is open up the column properties on the 123 column and the first thing I'll do is rename this column so we have this name here we'll go ahead and customize this ends up becoming percent var rev quarter ago alright so I have a new name and now what I want to do is override the data format I want to make sure that this is a percentage column so I'll do an override click the override I do want it to treat it as percentage and I just need to change the decimal place to zero and now I can click the OK and let's take a look at our results and it looks good but I did forget a step we do want to sort based on percent var rev quarter go so if this happens to you if you see anything that you don't like on the compound layout just go back to the criteria tab because if you think about it we're trying to look at how these um, the region and the areas are performing so what I want to do is go to sort and say descending now let's look at the results okay so now what I see I have it sorted correctly so I'm able to see which areas are doing better than the EMEA region so we see that the eastern and Middle East, North Africa, and Northern are doing better then we have EMEA here it's doing okay and then we have Europe and Africa not doing as well so we were able to combine the data from both of the analyses alright now we can go ahead and save this analysis so I'm going to use that save in the upper right corner it's a new analysis so I don't need to do a save as I can just do a save and then I want it just to go to the root of my folders if you want you can create another folder we did this for the 301 course we now have our day one and day two analyses folder I'll go ahead and save mine at the root alright so this is going to be exercise one union alright and that is it for exercise one union